What's up everyone, this is CyberNight, and today I wanted to uh, talk about the different uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Kaiba's Majestic Collection accessories that have been uh, released. So, yeah, this was actually a requested video. I remember when you guys uh, were wanting me to make a video on all these products whenever they released, and yeah, I believe all of these are now officially out everywhere. I think you can find them even, like, at uh, Walmart's and different places, and uh, probably the best luck, though, at local card stores. If you have a local card store near you, that's where I would suggest the most. But, of course, uh, all these different things, I got them online. So, uh, of course, the uh, deck case and the sleeves, you guys may remember, I got those from the Big Collectibles uh, monthly crate opening. That was for last month's crate. So that's where I got those. I got the uh, portfolio, which is the card binder, uh, off Amazon. And also, I got the playmat from eBay. Because the playmat is the toughest thing to find out all this. Because, to my knowledge, what I've heard is that it is a European exclusive. So, I don't know, you might be able to find it uh, locally, wherever you are, even if you are in the U.S., maybe you have a card store that was able to, like, import some of them or something. I have no idea, because last time with the movie playmat, when they had all these different accessories, I know a lot of people were saying that even though it was European exclusive, they were able to find it at their local card store. So... Maybe uh, the store you go to imported them. I have no idea, but I'm just saying what I've heard because I asked being collectibles about this one, and that's what they told me. Of course, the other things that you should be able to find really easy wherever you live. So I thought I would just kind of go over everything just because, yeah, it was a requested video, and I want to get this stuff anyway just because I thought it looked cool. So first off, we have the deck case. I showed it pretty well in the uh, Big Collectibles opening, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Of course, blue eyes on the side there, Kaiba Corp, which I think is cool. Burst Dream of Destruction on the other side. And it's supposed to hold up to 100 sleeved cards in this as well. So it's it's one of the bigger deck boxes, kind of like the um, like the movie one that we had recently, Dark Side Dimensions. So yeah, it, it's basically the same size. And that artwork's pretty cool too. I, I like that. So you get that on there. It's so your card divider, so you can separate your, you know, if you have two decks of cards possibly in here, uh, your main deck from the extra deck, things like that. Or if you just want to keep some of your favorite cards in there. You can also label this too. That's why that's there. So, pretty cool deck box. I mean, it is one of those plastic deck boxes, too. So, it's one of those that uh, you might want to still be a little bit careful with. If you're putting a lot of cards in this, you might not want to throw it in a backpack and it could get crushed, like, by books or, or something like that. So, be a little bit careful. It's not like one of those Ultimate Guard ones or something that is, you know, really uh, tough. Like, this one is thinner plastic, like we've seen from, like, Ultra Pro and other companies. And still good, though. I mean, you know, it's a cheaper deck box. Uh, with that artwork stuff, pretty good. Then, of course, after that, we have the card sleeves, which these are official card sleeves, so it's the same quality as the previous ones. I mean, if you like the other official card sleeves, here you go. If you don't, which some people don't like them, then, uh, yeah. But yeah, I really like the artwork of these, and you're getting 50 sleeves in here, too, so that's pretty good. And like I said, too, the official ones have worked pretty well for me in the past, so it just kind of depends on what kind of sleeves you want to use. But I feel like a lot of people just want to get these because, I mean, they have Kaiba on them. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's probably good enough reason, to be very honest. Uh, let's go on ahead and go with the portfolios. So yeah, here's the design of uh, the portfolio, and it uh, looks really nice. I mean, again, I'm a big fan of this design. Also, you have a Dulles portfolio on the spine of it right there. And then, of course, so you have Burst Dream of Destruction artwork on the back, which I really like that. I kind of wish that was the main artwork, you know? I, I just think it looks cool because it makes uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon look really realistic. So I, I just think that's awesome. Then, of course, you open it up, and yeah, it actually has pages that are higher quality this time. It's not the clear pages like they used to be. At first, I thought maybe it was going to be like that. So, uh, yeah, these are a little bit closer to something like Monster Binder or even uh, Ultra Pro that have like those, are they Pro Binders? I think that's what they're called, where it's like a fabric material. And, uh, yeah, you have the the pages in there, too. So you slide the cards in, in the side instead of, you know, through the top. And, yeah, I mean, you have plenty of room for a lot of your different cards. Like, I feel like I can actually kind of recommend this. Because at first I thought it was the clear pages, thinking, you know, that's those usually don't hold up well, and then, you know, you accidentally have them upside down one time, all your cards fly out of them. Well, uh, being like this, yeah, this is actually pretty good, especially for a beginner. If you want to have a small collection in here, too, or whatever, maybe your Blue Eyes White Dragon collection, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I can actually feel like I can recommend this binder. So, not bad. It's pretty cool. Also has, uh, yeah, tissue paper on this side, too. There, that's just to kind of protect it whenever it's in its package. So, not bad. There's a pretty good amount of room in there. Like I said, with those kind of pages instead of the clear ones, yeah, I, I would actually recommend, especially for beginners, it's a perfect thing to get them, too, to start off your collection. And now we're going to the playmat. So, again, this one's pretty tough to find. So, you can get them on uh, eBay. That's where I got this one. Um, how much was it? I think it was under $20, if I remember correctly. I think that was shipping and everything. So, let me get through the plastic and all that real quick. But yeah, here's the playmat. It is a full-size playmat as well. So, yeah, you guys can tell 
from my uh, Dual Links playmat, which is a normal size one. Like, you know, it'll be the same size as, like, a sneak preview one or, or anything like that, too. So, there we go. I'll remove everything from it so you guys can see a little bit better. But, yeah, it has a really good design on that, too. Again, I'm just a fan of the artwork with this. It's Kaiba, one of my favorite characters, so I had to get it for that reason, too. Although, I do hope that uh, maybe we can get one with Joey at some point and Red Eyes like this. That'd be really cool. Even like maybe like the Red Eyes XC monster or the new Link monster that's coming out. That would also be a, a really cool idea in the future. But yeah, I mean, it is a nice playmat. It is a mouse pad material one, just like the previous ones. And uh, it's a good official playmat. I'm, I'm happy with that because it's a normal size playmat and looks really cool. So again, if you're a fan of Kaiba, I mean, you're definitely going to pick this up. But yeah, again, remember though that uh, this playmat is supposed to be a little bit tough to get. Uh, like I said, I was told it was a European exclusive. So if you're not in Europe, uh, you'll probably just have to get this off eBay. Like I said, I think it was around $20 when I ordered this. That's, you know, international shipping and everything too, because I'm in the US, obviously. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know why they did that because they should make it where these are everywhere. I mean, of course, around the world, I guess, you know, like at Walmart or wherever store you go to in your country to get Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because this is another really good option for beginners and of course, collectors and anyone that loves the original series. I mean, I feel like a lot of people, even people that haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time, they're going to see this and be like, you know what? It has Kaiba on it. I need it. So seems like a missed opportunity in my opinion. So maybe they'll fix that for the, for the next playmats in the future. But all this stuff, I feel like I can actually recommend it. I mean, especially for beginners, it's not the highest quality because, you know, the official products, they're cheaper and everything too. So it's not, you know, like Ultimate Guard or, you know, even some of the stuff that Ultra Pro puts out and all these other companies. But if you're looking for something that will protect your cards, that looks awesome, and like I said, has Kaiba on it too, which I feel like that's enough right there to sell a lot of people, there you go. And I feel like I can recommend, especially for beginners and just people out there that want to protect their cards and everything, you're all set. Especially if you're using a Blue Eyes White Dragon deck too, you really should at least get these card sleeves. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Just kind of want to do something random today, and like I said, it was requested, so pretty fun. And I think we've already heard that, I think it's this upcoming September, that we're actually getting a uh, Kaiba Corp deck box and Kaiba Corp sleeves. And I think it's pretty much the same sleeves that Japan got. So, looking forward to those, and uh, like I said, I think it's around September. So, as soon as those are out, I'll make like a, a short video on those too. So, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, of course, also uh, hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.